So I'm Mark Sorkin, I'm Vice President of the 3D Division for Marshawn Memorial Eyewear. And, and we're here at CES. We are. And so CES 2012, well, Mark, can you tell us, uh, give us an update on Marshawn and what you guys are doing with 3D glasses? We'd be happy to. What's been happening is, is everybody's been talking about 3D, but consumer adoption rates, as we all know, haven't been what everybody expected. Part of the reason for that has been the consumer experience. Consumers first got exposed to active 3D, then slowly and surely got exposed to passive 3D. And now there's a lot of manufacturers in the passive 3D space. So what Marshawn's trying to do is become an advocate for passive technologies. And by being an advocate, we recognize that consumers are saying, you know what, the glasses that come to the television I just bought, they really don't meet my lifestyle. They're not comfortable, they're not flexible. It's a one-size-fits-all application. They work, but they don't feel good for me. Because Marshawn is the second largest manufacturer of eyewear worldwide, and probably the largest manufacturer somewhere. We've taken our technology, we've taken our leadership position, and applied it to 3D. Now we have a complete line of 3D products that starts as low as $18 retail, goes all the way up to $80 retail, utilizing a lot of the same styles and the same concepts that we've made applicable in the fashion space. Keep up. Mark, can you tell us about some of your different 3D glasses? Like, what is the A3D? Be happy to. A3D, for example, is our new entry-level line. A3D uses Marshawn M3D patented technology, which utilizes curved lenses, so your eye is always in the same distance from the lens, no matter where you're looking, where you're enjoying that 3D content. Also, this is a wraparound lens. It blocks ambient light. You're focusing on what is 3D. Because it's entry-level, it uses a thinner lens, and it's hard-coded on one side. So versus X3D, which is hard-coded or scratch-resistant on both sides, they use a little thicker lens. The quality and the experience are the same, but the price points for manufacturing efficiency are actually much less. Can we look at some of them? Of course. Okay. Let's see, are, so, do you have any out here? Sure. Here's some of the A3D series products. So you're looking at the Razor and you're looking at the Concert series. These are two entry-level products. You're starting at about $18 for an adult pair. You're starting at about $15, and these are MSRP for a children's pair. These come in single packs, two packs, or four packs, and a number of different applications. So if you have a large family of adults, you have four pair of glasses. If you have a family of two small children, they come packaged with two child sizes and two adult sizes. And if you just need a single for whatever may have you, that's available as well. Now, one of the challenges that people always have when they have glasses is they don't really fit that well over that's their right. glasses. That's right. And I'm glad you brought that up. Because one of the things that Marchand's always been foremost in front we're thinking about is what is the eyewear eyewear doing when it comes to 3D. So now we're manufacturing clips as well as fit over product. So there's a basic clip. These come in three different sizes. There's three sizes in the Amore uh, A3D lineup as well as three sizes in the X3D or Marshawn lineup. Those clip on any frame that any user may be wearing. In addition to which, I'll see if we can find a pair here. So that's a fit over, and they come in different colors. Now when you say fit over, does that mean you fit over glasses? Yeah, I do. Ah. If you look in here, you'll see that the actual temple piece has a little channel, and the way that the frame is actually moving around, it's meant to go and fit over the glasses that the user is wearing. These come in a multiple, multiple of sizes as well. So this is your at is a small size frame. So the glasses, for example, that you're wearing, this would fit directly over them. They're lightweight, extremely comfortable, and because they're using wraparound lenses again, which is a Marchand pad, you get the full 3D cool. experience. Yep. That's pretty cool. Now I noticed right next to us, we've got all of these glasses. Oh my gosh. Are yes. all of these 3D glasses? They all are. Wait a minute, even these that look like aviators? Yep. They are. And these are actually my favorite pair. We have about three or four different versions of the Avia. It's classic, it's light. Can it's you wear my sunglasses? These can't be worn as sunglasses. They are UVA and UVB, but they are truly a television accessory or a gaming accessory. So you could wear these outside, but they wouldn't protect your eyes by darkening the ambient light. I did hear you say gaming accessory. Yes. One of us, yes. So you use these to help you play games too? Sure. If you've got a 3D title and you want to enjoy it and want to watch that title for a long period of time, the passive technology is perfect for it. And
and Marshawn glasses are ideal for gamers because, again, they're lightweight, they're stylish, they're fun to wear, they don't get in the way of the game. And when we're past the environment, again, you're passing through all the light that you need to see in the game. I noticed that some of these glasses are a little bit on the small side. Are those for kids? Some of these are children's sizes. We recognize that some of your families want to enjoy a 3D feature in their home, or they want to enjoy it at the movie theater. So, why not make size for them as well? Let the whole family get it on the bus. One of the things I'm curious about, Mark, is I heard earlier you guys were going to start selling them in kiosks and theaters. We actually are. We've been doing some beta testing, and we're actually in three theaters today. And, uh, Southern California, and I'm sorry, I wish I knew the theater's names, but we'll find them for you. Those are vending machines. The other thing we're looking at is mobile applications as well as airports. Just as passive technology continues to gain traction, and as consumers demand a better eyewear experience, we're going to be there for you. This is what we do. This is what we do. Mark, if people want to find out more information about Marshawn and your glasses, Easy where should do. they go? Our website is probably the best place to go. In fact, our website is live now, and it's fully e-commerce transaction. So, if consumers want to buy directly from Marshawn, they need only go to www.x3d.com, or they can see the 8 3D and Marshawn lineup at Allure's website, which is 3dallure.com, also which puts live e-commerce just before the show. <laughs> Mark, is there anything else we need to know about 3D glasses today? Just that it's becoming a lot of fun, and people are paying a premium for the 3D experience, and they're getting toy glasses. That shouldn't be. For a couple of dollars more, they should be able to get the experience they deserve. We're going to bring that to you. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome.